Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. I've missed you guys so much. I've been on vacation with my family. My fiance had a um, family reunion, so we went out to Texas and had a blast this past week. And I've missed you guys. I'm so glad to be back in my crafting space. And um, I just wanted to show you what I've been making while I was on the road. I picked up some... Um, some old books and from those old books I deconstructed it pulled out some papers these are just some music papers that I pulled out of um, this book so I went to I went to a thrift shop uh, Society of St. Vincent de Paul and bought some of these old books these are some music books okay I think I paid a dollar forty nine for them so um, yeah I'm really I'm really glad I found these so what I've done was I took apart a couple of the pages right out of the center and started folding them up and I came up with this cute little envelope that can go into any junk journal either as a tuck or you can glue it directly down and tuck things into it so yeah I just um, started working on this fold pattern here this is from a math book a geometry uh, math book that I pulled out of a um, it was one of those little libraries like take a book leave a book I love those things I can't wait to get one um, but yeah so I took the math book that was in there it was a geometry book and in its place I put back um, a crafting book so someone will get you know to see what we do in our little world anyway so I started folding these pages and um, came up with this little fold pattern here and made this really adorable envelope that can go into any junk journal again and inked around the edges popped a little bit of glue down the sides so again I was bored on my travels we drove all the way to Texas and this is what I came up with so yeah I've been um, mass making these to go into um, my Etsy shop so I just figured I would show you guys what I was working on and perhaps you can um, craft along with me so I'm just going to show you what the um, the basic fold is and yeah it's really simple it can be made out of anything this is a magazine uh, page so I pulled this out of a travel magazine from the state of Texas and yeah it's just a basic fold and now you have this really cute envelope all right so let me grab I'll grab another sheet out of my music book I like to remove them right from the center here where the staples are it makes it a lot easier to um, detach so I'm just going to hold on to both of these pages together and pop the center page out okay there isn't a lot of notes on this page particularly but on the inside here is where the majority of the song is I'm just gonna move these out of the way so yeah I've been um, making them um, in stacks of similar so like I will make a stack of 10 or 12 of the music paper and then I'll make a stack of 10 12 of the math book <coughs> and um yeah that's pretty much what i've been up to now to get this to tear evenly i just bone fold down the center there there we go all right so to begin with you have to decide which side you want for the inside which side do you want for the outside and here just by looking at let's look at this one so here is the sheet and you could just follow along with this um, this design all I've done really was put my paper down here in the corner of my mat 
and I use the 45 degree angles on on the mat itself and I just folded a 2 inch 45 degree angle um, in the corner here you can make it a little bit bigger or smaller just note that the bigger this angle starts off the longer this flap will be and then this point will be all the way you know down here instead of it being right there at the edge of the page so this angle right here is the most important one I can even do it at two and a half inches and this is just an estimation of two and a half inches and let me show you what I'm looking at here let me see if I can zoom you in to what I'm actually talking about right here so this right here is my two inch okay if I want it to be two and a half inches I line up my paper to the edge here's my 45 degree angle and this um, this point will be the point of this paper right here will be on the 45 degree okay so that's how I know that I have a perfect 45 degree angle and it's at two and a half inches because here's my two and a half and here is my half mark on this end over here okay so yep just crease that in you can make it at two inches you can make it at two and a half inches but just know that the larger this angle right here will determine how big your um, your flap will be once you get to this corner up here all right so moving on once you crease this right here two or two and a half inches you then want to take this bottom section over here and fold it in and I'm just leaving about a quarter of an inch maybe a little less than a quarter of an inch gap between this flap and this flap all right do you see that there's just about a quarter of an inch and it's all lined up right on my mat so I can see that it's maybe a quarter maybe a, uh, an eighth yeah it's about an eighth of an inch let's go with an eighth of an inch um, gap in between there all right and then once I've done that the rest of it is just magic okay so watch this I take this corner up here and I just fold it down so there's a an eighth of an inch between this edge of the paper and this paper right here so there's no real um, measurements other than the fact that you want to get a nice tight crease here and a nice tight crease there okay and in between these two flaps here I'll ink this one and this one so you can see what I'm talking about in between these two flaps right here there's about an eighth of an inch okay get a nice tight crease on both ends making sure that they're even okay and that's pretty much it those are those are the main folds I then rotate my paper so that my first flap is on the edge down here okay, I'll slide this up my first flap that I made is on an edge okay this is where my pocket will now fold up and all you really need to do is fold this up until it gets to this point over here okay so now we have this isn't this cool this is already looking like an envelope and to finish it off you just take your top flap and bring it down I've tried all different measurements all different um, types of paper again the music paper all came out of the same book obviously the math pages all came out of the same book and you will get a variation of um, the size of the flap based on the size of this very first fold right here because that'll determine where everything else folds in okay so I hope that helps you guys um, yeah so that's that and uh, yeah now we have this cute little uh, envelope as soon as we glue down our edges and it has like 
multiple tucks on the inside so let me just show you what I mean by that I'll find one that I've glued so here's one that I've already glued and I will grab a excuse my arm a little I'll grab a little tag right here just to show you what I'm talking about so on the inside of the envelope we have a big tuck back here okay so this entire section back here you can put uh, just about anything here I'll grab a postcard hopefully this is wide enough yeah so yeah you can tuck a large postcard back there okay and leaving that in there we now have this tuck section right here in the front okay I don't know if you guys can see that really well but um, yeah we have a tuck section right in here and um, if you do not glue down your flap you then have another tuck section on the front side so you have a tuck section back here and then a tuck section up here so you can get let's see multiple cards in there I don't know if these are all the same size but yeah there's that one and then this one will tuck on the front side of it depending on how close your glue is to the edge okay so that's the important factor is getting your glue uh, very close to the edge so that you have more spaces to tuck so I have three tucks or you know inner pockets here in this envelope all right so let's just go ahead and pop some glue on this oh the other thing is if you want to ink now is the time to do it so I'll show you what my envelope looks like the important sections to ink would be of course the outside fold here the sides down here this little section right here okay and of course the top part so here I'll show you this is the areas that I would ink right here Okay, right along the side here, this side, okay, and then up here, because once this folds over, it only needs to, it only comes up about halfway or maybe a quarter of the way on this edge. And then, um, of course, I would ink all around the edges, so you can do that now or later I like this little frayed edge for my flap it gives it a little bit more distinction and uh, in style I'm not gonna um, worry about cutting that edge straight so here when I fold this over this side needs to be inked okay and then my flap so I'll ink the flap okay all right, and then of course the entire backside can be inked if this is a removable so yeah and that's it and then I'm gonna put um, some glue down on here I'm just gonna use for time's sake uh, art glitter glue I hope it's I hope it's behaving I, I'm telling you guys I have not been in this room uh, I got home late last night so I haven't been in this room in over a week so I'm not sure if my glues are behaving, but art glitter seems to be working out. And you're going to put a little bit on this section right here because that's all that's going to be closed in. And uh, yeah, just use your fold lines to get that glue right onto the edge. All right, I'm going to use my dry wipes to clean up any excess that may have oozed out. Okay, and now we have that. Isn't that cool? I mean, it's so simple. We can do multiple of these within, you know, the hour. So, and that's how <laughs> riding along in the RV, that's how I ended up with this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm telling you guys, I am very happy to be back. I'm s I missed you guys so much. So I want you guys to have a crafty day. Like Go out and do something wonderful and stay naturally curious and I'll talk to you in the next one. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see 
from up here The world seems small We can sit together